do you like clan capital and would like to max it out before you die but your clan mates simply don't share the same passion as you about unlocking the big pile of rocks? Well I am here to help you out by sharing some highly educational tips and tricks how to gain 10 times more clan capital gold than an average player typically gets. Using these methods I made over 120,000 capital gold in one week and if you would like to know how then grab your pen and paper because we are about to gain some valuable clash of clans knowledge. By the way yesterday I received a comment from someone called Tutankhamun who said hey Jaso, your channel is dead, you are getting only 6.5 likes per video, what a joke. Yes guys I got roasted by million dollar bucks looking dude which made me very very sad. Let's prove him wrong by trying to hit 7.5 likes for this video. The day was 4th of July when I started the challenge to see how much capital gold can I get in one week. So far I had donated little over 345,000 gold towards our clan capital but that was about to change as I was going to find out every possible way how to make extra gold. The first method that no one most definitely haven't heard of is to collect free daily gold from the forge. I think within one week I was able to collect 6 of those rewards but if you will get all 7 and you have town hall 14 then you are looking to make 3850 free capital gold just by pressing this button. To put it into perspective then with that amount of gold you can purchase a large forest. Would you like to get 2610 capital gold just in few minutes? Well similarly to main village practice attack strategy guides there is also something like that in the clan capital. Simply click the eye icon, choose attacking, and there you can try out a practice level which gives you a reward of 2610 gold. You can do it with on screen instructions or if you would like to think yourself then just exit the tutorial and do it this way. Raid weekend can be the easiest and most efficient way of getting capital gold, if you know couple of things. As we know some might get 6000 to 7000 gold with one raid weekend and others might get around 20,000 gold. But what makes such a big difference? Well I will quickly walk you through what I did in order to get around 20k capital gold. First of all some tips and tricks for making the most out of your attacks. Here we have a typical capital peak base with the maze box around the spawning area. This type of maze box is used to work really efficiently before the battle ram buff but right now you will simply have to place battle ram close to the wall and you are pretty much good to go. For the cleanup I like to use barbarians archers and minions which is a great combination of ground and air troops that allows you to destroy all sorts of buildings with no problem. Once the cleanup is done then I typically have another battle ram to open up a wall where I am going to attack from in my second attack. Since spells are not needed for cleanup purposes then I always like to place them so that the next attacker can take advantage of them. In this case I attacked it myself so it was much easier to take out the key buildings with the help of the spells from previous attack. Because I wanted to use giants and super wizards to destroy the core of the base by attacking from the top side then I had to get rid of the blast bow at the bottom side first due to its high range and splash damage. So yes, always try to surgically destroy any of those main offenses first and then deploy the main army. Another very important thing to get more capital gold is to make sure you are getting that 6th attack by 3 starring one of the bases. If possible try to find a base where you can also earn some more capital gold and not one of those plus 90% bases. Here I had a perfect opportunity to earn capital gold while also getting that extra attack. With this attack I want to share another one tip which is related to the end of the raid bonuses. I have seen too many attackers who think that only the troops left on your attack bar count towards the bonuses but actually it is all the troops that are left on the map too. What they end up doing is to carefully deploy troops one by one while deploying all your units can often time overwhelm the defenses which ends up saving a lot more troops. For this particular attack I was able to make extra 140 capital gold which means there were 140 housing space worth of troops left on the map. If you are wondering what troops to use then sneaky archers are great for sniping out any key defenses in the base, cleaning up outer buildings around capital peak, and many more. Super giants and super wizards are a great combo against cleaning up bases with loads of buildings right next to each other. But as I have demonstrated in this video plenty of times through the attacks how to use them then I am not going to fall into too many specifics. If you would like to go more in depth with the attack strategies then there are many guides out there in YouTube.
Before we move on I do have to give an honorable mention to the attack strategy you can see right now. Perhaps you are saying, but Jaso, placing two airships on the map has nothing to do with a strategy. Well, it has. You can't just place them anywhere but you have to make sure that the part of the base you are attacking doesn't have too many air defenses. Is that all? Yes. Very difficult strategy I know. No but really there is a downside. Being able to have two flying fortresses means you got to have at least capital hall level 7 with extra army camp space. In conclusion if you follow these tips and tricks then I am sure you can also gain around 18k gold like I did. Ever since clan capital was introduced to the game some amounts of capital gold has been included in the silver pass rewards as well, including July with 3000 gold. All you have to do really is to play the game as you do and you will get some extra gold. Since it was the first week of July then I only got 500 extra capital gold which is not much but collecting every little amount makes it into one big amount in the long term. So never underestimate the little amount you can make. Converting resources makes you the most amount of capital gold per week out of all the methods if you keep 4 of your builders busy. I left this method in the end because this is something that probably only maxed out players benefit out of the most. Since I have maxed out account and there is nothing to spend my resources on then converting resources is a great way of being able to contribute more into clan capital and making use of the overflowing resources. Not only all 4 builders were working 24 7 forging capital gold but they were also constantly drinking that red bull energy drink. That is correct. I bought around 50 energy drinks using my clan metals to speed up the forging which ended up making me extra 96,000 capital gold. Since the last method is not so viable for everybody then here is a bonus way how you can get a lot more done in your clan's clan capital and that is by making a second account. Most clashes already have it just for the sake of donations but even the most rushed account can double your earnings during the raid weekend. You don't have to do anything extra than just finish 6 attacks and you have made 36,000 capital gold instead of 18,000. And at the top of everything you will receive raid medals to purchase some resources for troop donations or upgrades on your second account which is a big win-win. Making a second account and rushing it to Town Hall 6 these days should take only about 1 week or even less. So it's really easy to double the amount you can contribute to the clan capital which in the end hopefully helps you to unlock the big rocky rock. <coughs> anyway if you enjoyed the video then I am 99% sure you will also like this video where I share 10 best ways how to get free gems. Have a lovely day.